Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm on Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Monday, it is Monday, so it's meal prep day and I have three really, really, really good recipes for you that I'm super excited about. So if you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload a meal prep every Monday and five videos per week. Check out the description box down below where you will find all of today's recipes on my website. I will put that at the top of the description box for you along with nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how I've lost almost 140 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability and if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's get started on this week's meal prep. into this week's meal prep, I have some really, really exciting news for you. First of all, let's talk about my outfit. This is the At Leisure Wear lounge around the house, comfortable lounge outfit from Timu. I recently did a huge, massive Timu haul and try on. I'll link that video down below and I will link this particular at leisure outfit for you as well. I love this. I love Timu. They are probably the most affordable clothing company out there with such high quality. Well, they actually are just introducing the brand new Timu affiliate program for you. This is a program that anybody can sign up for. I'm going to go ahead and insert some footage here of this outfit so you can see what it looks like if you're interested in picking it up. Super affordable, super comfortable, I love it. And as far as the affiliate program goes, you're going to receive $5 for every new user download referral. So anybody you refer to Timu that downloads with your link, you're going to receive $5. You also will earn $5 the first time you share the link. You'll get up to 20% commission on any referred new user's order and your referral gets 30% discount just by going through your link. And this is for new customers as well. And of course you can receive up to $20,000 worth of commission every month. You might as well share your love for Timu and earn cash back. Super simple, you're going to share your referral link, your friends, your family will use that link, you'll receive the affiliate commission, and your friends and family will get 30% off their first order as a new customer to Timu. I love it, I actually have another haul coming your guys way in March. There are so many great products on their website that I just can't get enough, and it is so incredibly affordable for the quality. So definitely take advantage of the new Timu affiliate program. I'll put all of the information down in the description box for you as well. Now let's head into the kitchen and make this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making cinnamon roll protein pancakes. I'm going to have this with some fruit, maybe some eggs, we shall see, but I'm really excited to have pancakes. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some vanilla protein. I'm using the Ascent Micellar Casein Protein in Vanilla Bean. I love Ascent. I own, I have several of their protein flavors. You can buy these right off of Amazon. Really, really good ingredients. I will link them down below for you. You're also going to need some oat flour, non-fat Greek yogurt, egg whites, three packets of your favorite seasoning. I'm using whole earth, baking soda, baking powder, and some cinnamon. To make our pancakes, we're going to add all of the pancake ingredients to a medium bowl, starting with one half of a cup of oat flour, one third cup non-fat plain Greek yogurt, one third cup of egg whites, our three packets of sweetener, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half of a teaspoon of baking soda. And lastly, one scoop of our protein powder, and then we're going to mix that together until we have our pancake batter. Our pancake mix is going to be on the thick side. I added about a tablespoon of water just so that I could stir it all together, but it's definitely going to be on the thicker side. Our pancake batter makes four pancakes, so I have a small pan. I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to scoop in one quarter of the batter. And then using your spoon, press it down into more of a pancake shape. 
And then we're going to allow it to cook just like a regular pancake until it becomes bubbly. So here is what the pancake looks like. This looks so good. I'm going to just put it on a plate, set it aside, and we'll make the other three pancakes. So here are my four pancakes. We're going to make up the cinnamon roll glaze that we're going to drizzle on top of the pancakes. So for the glaze, I'm going to add an eighth of a cup of Lakanto granulated. It was just easier than opening up a bunch of packets. About a teaspoon of cinnamon and a scoop of the Ascent casein protein. We're going to add a little bit of water to this until we have a glaze consistency. So here are the pancakes and that cinnamon glaze. We're getting a big punch of protein in the glaze. You could also add butter, maple syrup, whatever you want to your pancakes. But I'm going to have one of these each day as part of my breakfast. So I'll put the points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm making a crispy salmon meal prep. So basically I'm going to put together a whole meal that's ready for lunches, including salmon, a vegetable, and some sweet potatoes. You can sub cauliflower rice or regular rice for the sweet potatoes, but I have these in my fridge from Imperfect Foods and they sound really good with salmon. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First you're going to need salt and pepper, minced garlic, some sugar snap peas, a red onion, three medium sweet potatoes. This one's so funny. It's like two little ones attached, like conjoined twin sweet potatoes. And then you're going to need some fresh salmon. So the first thing that we need to do is chop. So I'm going to chop up half of this red onion, peel and dice my sweet potatoes. I'm going to do small dices so they cook a little quicker. And then we're gonna cut off all of the pokey ends of the snap peas. and sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray. I decided I'm going to go ahead and cook my salmon in the oven, and then I'm going to cook my sweet potatoes in my air fryer. So I'm going to add all my four salmon fillets to my sheet pan. My goal is six ounces of salmon with each meal, and I don't know how much these weigh. We'll just weigh them out as I put them in the container to store them. I'm going to spread a little bit of minced garlic over each of the salmon fillets. And then I'm going to season them with some salt and pepper. I'm going to put my salmon in a 375 degree oven until it is cooked through. I'm going to add my diced up sweet potatoes to my air fryer basket. And I'm going to air fry these at about 400 degrees until they're crispy. I think I wanna season these as well. I'm going to just add a little nonstick cooking spray to the top. And then again, add some salt and pepper. I will link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below for you. I just got these on Amazon. I love them. So let's get this, let's get the sweet potatoes into the air fryer and then we'll get cooking up our snap peas. So I've added my snap peas, my diced up red onion, some minced garlic, salt and pepper, and we're going to allow these to saute down. I did decide to add a teaspoon of sesame oil in with my snap peas. That's just going to give it a really, really good flavor. So I just took out my salmon. I did go ahead and slice the fillets in half because like I mentioned, I wanna weigh out my portion before it goes into my storage container. The beans with the onions look really, really good. And then there are my sweet potatoes. So the recipe makes five servings total. So I'm going to put together five meal prep containers. So the first thing I'm going to do is weigh out my salmon and then I'm adding one fifth of the sweet potatoes and then one fifth of the veggies. And here's what the salmon meal prep looks like. This looks incredible. I'm going to go ahead and put together the other four meal preps. Like I said, it makes five servings. So here are my meal preps. I'm pretty excited about this nice, clean, healthy lunch for the week. I will go ahead and put macros, calories, points, all of the information here on the screen for you. For a snack this week, for a sweet treat, I am making cherry pie energy balls. I loved having those turtle ones last week, and this recipe sounds 
incredible. Another clean eating, healthy recipe. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need some rolled oats, some sugar-free maple syrup, unsweetened coconut flakes. This is optional. You do not have to use these. Some peanut butter, cashews, dried cherries. Make sure you get the ones with no added sugar and some dates. So the first thing I did is added my one and a half cup of cups of dried cherries to some warm water. We're going to let this soak for about 10 minutes. So into a food processor, or in my case, my Ninja Blender, be, blender because I don't own a food processor, we're going to add the drained soaked cherries and six pitted dates. And we're going to process this for about 30 seconds. And we're adding one cup of cashews and then processing that again for 30 seconds. We're then going to add in one tablespoon of peanut butter and turn it on again. And lastly, I'm adding half of a cup of rolled oats and we're gonna process that until we have our dough. So here is what your mixture should look like. I'm going to remove the blade and we'll get ready to roll it into our cherry pie balls. So I lined my baking sheet with some parchment paper, pulled out my little baby scoop, and I'm going to start scooping out the energy balls. The recipe calls for 14. We'll see how many we get. We may get more than that, we may get less than that, and that's how I'll determine the points and calories for mine, but I will put on my website what it is for 14 because that's what the recipe calls for. So I just pulled the cherry pie balls out of the fridge and what you're going to do next is just roll them in the coconut. And like I said, the coconut is optional. I love coconut and I think that's going to add just a nice taste and texture to them. This is half of a cup of unsweetened coconut. So I rolled all of the cherry pie balls in the coconut. I'm going to put a few aside for me and then I'm going to give some to my in-laws as well. This is just a lot for me to eat. I don't know if Troy will eat them or not. There's no chocolate in them, he might. But I will go ahead again and put all of the points, calories, macros here on the screen for 14 of them. for another WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I know I cannot wait to eat them all week long. They're healthy, they're delicious, they're low in points, low in calories, such a great prep for the week. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you check out all of the information on the new Timu affiliate program down in the description box. You might as well tell your friends how amazing Timu, Timu is and get rewards. And don't forget, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you all down in that description box. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.